All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 32 to the power of 200 minus two to the power of 999. So to solve this, I'm gonna first rewrite 32 as two to the power of five. So I get two to the power of five to the power of 200 minus two to the power of 999. And this turns into two to the power of 1000 minus 200, two to the power of 999 because the five and 200 multiply. Now to solve this, I'm gonna write two to the power of 1000 is 200 to the power of 99 plus one. So I get two to the power of 999 times two to the power of one minus two to the power of 999 which is equal to two to the power of 999 times two minus one, which is equal to two to the power of 999. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of x plus eight to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting eight as two to the power of three. So I get two to the power of three to the power of x is equal to 10. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So I get two to the power of x plus two to the power of x to the power of three is equal to 10 because I switched the places of three and x. Now from here, I'm going to let two to the power of x equal to the variable y. So now I get y plus y to the power of three is equal to 10. And if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of three plus y minus 10 is equal to zero. Now, what I need to do is first find one solution of y, and then once I have that solution, I can find the remaining solutions. So to do that and find that first solution, I'm just gonna test values of y. So we're gonna start with y equals one. So when y equals one, I have one to the power of three plus one minus 10 is equal to zero. Well, one to the power of three is one, one plus one is two, two minus 10 is negative eight, which does not equal zero, so this does not work. Now I'm gonna try y equals two. So when y equals two, I get two to the power of three plus two minus 10 is equal to zero. Now two to the power of three is eight, so I have eight plus two minus 10. Eight plus two is 10, 10 minus 10 is zero. So this works, meaning y equals two is a solution. So what I'm gonna do is divide y to the power of three plus y minus 10 by y minus two, because y minus two equals zero, well, y equals two is a solution. So, to do this, I'm gonna use synthetic division. So I'm gonna look at the coefficients of my numerator, and I have one, which is the coefficient of y to the power of three, zero, which is the coefficient of y squared, remember we're going order, one again, which is the coefficient of y, and negative 10. And just to let you guys know, the zero is there because this is supposed to be y squared because we're going in order. But because there is no y squared, we put a zero in front of it. And this is all with two. And if you guys are still confused by this, you should look up a video on synthetic division. So I'm gonna first start by moving down my one. Two times one is two. Zero plus two is two. Two times two is four. One plus four is five. And two times five is 10, negative 10 plus 10 is zero, so I have a remainder of zero. And I'm gonna use these as my coefficients, so I get y squared plus two y plus five, meaning y squared plus two y plus five times y minus two is equal to zero. So this is my equation, and I'm gonna divide this into two equations. y squared plus two y plus five is equal to zero, and y minus two is equal to zero. So, now for y minus two equals zero, I'm gonna add two on both sides, so I get y is equal to two. And for y squared plus two y plus five equals zero, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac, all over two a. So I get y equals negative two plus or minus the square root of two squared, which is four, 
minus 4 times 1 times 5, all over 2 times 1. And this turns to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. And because we have the square root of a negative number, we cannot use the solution of y, meaning we can only use y equals 2 as a solution. And remember, we're solving for x, not y. And we let 2 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. And the only solution to this would be x equals 1, because 2 to the power of 1 is equal to itself. So x equals 1 is my solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video to your friends or family. Thank you. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 3 minus x squared is equal to 100. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 100 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 100 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite negative x squared as 4x squared minus 5x squared. And I'm going to add 20x minus 20x to this, which is 0, so it won't make a difference. And then I have negative 100 at the end. Now, I'm going to put the 20x over here. So I have x squared plus 4x, or sorry, x to the power of 3. plus 4x squared plus 20x, and I have negative 5x squared minus 20x minus 100. Now, from x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared plus 20x, I'm going to factor out x. So I get x times x squared plus 4x plus 20. And from negative 5x squared minus 20x minus 100, I'm going to factor out negative 5. So I get negative 5 times x squared plus 4x plus 20. Now, because both of these terms have x squared plus 4x plus 20 in them, I'm going to factor that out. So I get x squared plus 4x plus 20 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. And from here, I get two equations. x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0, and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x minus 5 equals 0, all I have to do is add 5 on both sides, and I get x is equal to 5. For x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals 0, I can use a quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I get x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 1 times 20 all over 2 times 1. This is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 80 over 2, which is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 64 over 2, which is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 8i over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 4i.